Hi and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to create a hybrid app for both Android and Apple. And to be a little bit ironic, we're going to use Microsoft to do it. So let's create some Xamarin forms using Visual Code. Not Visual Code, Visual Studio. I don't know why that was in my head. But let's go ahead and do it. So let's export our Xamarin forms first. Um, now, while this is exporting, let's actually just open up Visual Studio, aka Visual Code. And what we're going to do is we're going to actually go to a multi-platform app. Do not use Visual Code. You have to use Visual Studio. Sorry, I, I didn't even really mean to say that. And we're going to use a blank forms app. And let's open it up. Let's give it a fantastic name of test app. Oh my gosh, that's such a unique and creative name. So let's go ahead and let's create this. Uh, you'll see that in the midst of us creating our Visual Studio app, our Xamarin Forms export is now complete. So if we take a look at the actual output folder, you'll see there's a readme. So if we just pop it open, uh, it gives you instructions as to exactly how to get your stuff running up and running very quickly. So the very first thing you can do is you can actually just open uh, the CS project as is and depending on what libraries you want to load afterwards it will just work off the bat. Otherwise I would say uh, follow the secondary instructions which will basically instruct you how to create a secondary project which is what we just did and basically copy the assets. So I already know what we need to do so let's just go ahead and do it. Uh, we're going to need to copy our pages you can leave your main window and your app uh, XAML files actually. So let's just copy pages. And what we're going to do is we're going to paste them into our actual uh, Xamarin Forms project that we just created. So if we go to our test app, you'll see that within it we have our test app. And we're targeting iOS only simply because we're on Apple. I mean, it's Visual Studio. You can target whatever you want. So let's go ahead and let's paste our pages within our test app. And within our iOS, what we're going to do is we're going to copy our XC assets. Now, if you're using Windows Mobile, you can actually just copy the assets folder. Everything has all the images uh, that it requires. And if you're using Android, you would copy the res and the drawable folder. Um, again, this is just dependent on your environment. This is just for quick and easy access to all the image assets. So. We're going to just go ahead and copy this in for iOS. And we're going to merge this. Now while that's going with iOS specifically, we're going to need to copy our CS uh, project image assets. So what we do is we compile them all for you. So once you open up the text file, you can simply just select all and copy. Close it. Now if we open up our iOS folder, what we're going to do is we're just going to navigate to our CS project file and oh, we're actually, let's just open this up in Sublime. Hey, look, we're not using VS Code. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to our launch screen storyboard. Once we find uh, the item group with the interface definition. And again, these are all, this is all in the instructions. We're just going to paste here. So we're going to make sure our icon is right uh, you know at the end of the line or we could have pressed enter it's you know up to you and we just paste save we can close this off and the next step we're going to do is we're just going to go back to our project now within visual studio and we're going to just open up one of our pages now you'll note there are a couple uh, white squares and I'm going to explain exactly what these are in a second I just want to kind of QA a couple files for you to show you that everything loaded this is in Xamarin form so you know that this works with both Android and iOS now the white squares that I basically explained uh, previously and you'll see them again here what this is is that depending on your environment it might not support gradients or uh, vectors very well Android has the best support for it but Xamarin and Xcode do not have great support. So what you'd have to do is, in essence, go back to your XD file. Um, let's just actually take that example there. So this is the splash that we just saw. Yeah, this is the splash. And what you would do is within your XD, you would actually just name these layers with an image tag. 
Now you'll see that the logo has an image tag, uh, but the rectangle doesn't. So again, uh, vectors and gradients do not have great support with iOS or uh, Visual Studio. So this is a quick fix uh, with the fix. So uh, basically the sign up button has the fix where the other doesn't. So let's go ahead and export. Let's give this Xamarin.